over the last couple of years, I've had some real problems trying to get some artwork done. I have really struggled because I've changed jobs a couple of times, actually. And one of the biggest problems I have is that I have to be able to art where I am. I can't just schedule time out and have big chunks of time like I used to be able to do. I used to, I used to have big chunks of time that I could just sit down and art in the afternoon or in the evenings or, or sometimes throughout, sometimes in the middle of the day. But now I want to be able to do a little bit of art a little bit at a time every time I sit down, at any time I sit down so that I can, I can have a steady practice. And part of that is being able to take the art along with me. In answer to that, I have had many, many bags over the last few years. I keep buying bags uh, to, I'm always looking for that perfect bag. I'm always looking for that perfect bag that will carry just the right amount of art supplies for me. And one of the biggest problems I have is, is I overload them. I, I try to carry the entire studio with me, the entire recording studio with me on top of the art making stuff. And I had backpacks and shoulder bags and messenger bags and, and, and hip bags. And I've had, I've had a whole different kind of bags. And, I, and it occurred to me the other day that I didn't know what I wanted to carry. I couldn't find the right bag because I didn't know what, kind of, what I wanted to carry with me. So I popped up my handy dandy little notebook and I started making a list of everything I wanted to carry. And I wrote down what I wanted to carry in my pockets, what I wanted to carry in my hip bag, what I wanted to carry if I were going to the zoo, what I wanted to carry if I were going on a day trip. And I made a pretty good list. I've got my bujo, I've got my fountain pen, I've got my pocket knife, my wallet, my keys, the stuff I have to carry all the time. I've got my denture powder, water if I'm going to have something to drink. I've got a voice recorder, uh, a phone, and a sketchbook. And this is the stuff I wanted to carry every day, and I called that Tier 1. And then Tier 2 is the stuff if I'm like going to the zoo, if I'm going on a day trip. I've got my, you know, my eraser, my camera, my tripod, my watercolors, my pens, ink refills, watercolor paper, larger sketch bed, YouTube journal. And then if I'm actually uh, going out on a big trip, I've got my easel, my mixed media pad, my camcorders, uh, and all kinds of stuff. And then I decided that was entirely too much stuff. I don't, I don't need to carry all that stuff all the time. I don't need a mobile studio with me all the time. I have my phone. I don't need, uh, I don't need my easel with me to go to the zoo because I'm never going to take my easel out at the zoo. The other problem I had was even if I did something like this little sporty hip bag, I could put it around my neck and I could move and I could do everything I wanted to do, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was like a grandmother looking for a peppermint in the bottom of her purse. So I had to really parse down what I wanted to carry. I decided that I was only going to carry on a daily basis. I was only going to carry, uh, I combined my, my bujo and a sketchbook. I, I have a fountain pen. I have a pocket knife. Of course, I have my keys and my wallet. And I have a, I have a voice recorder and my uh, denture powder because you never know when you're going to eat a piece of chocolate and then things are going to fall out. But, you know, being a man, those things just fit in my pocket. So, after parsing down what I decided I was going to carry, I was going to show you this is what I carry in my pockets, and then I'll show you what bag I finally decided on and why I decided on it. So in my pockets, I actually carry a, of course, I've got my key to my motorcycle. I've got my pocket knife because you never know when you're going to have to open a box or a bad guy. I have, uh, this is a little bottle of denture, uh, denture powder. Uh, I have my fountain pen. I have a voice recorder. And then I have my wallet, of course. And then I have what I'm using as a Bujo bullet journal. Started out in this with my bullet journaling. And 
I felt constrained by the lines and so uh, I also would have to carry this and a sketchbook and so what I decided instead was I found a similarly sized sketchbook and I transferred my bullet journal into my sketchbook and so if I want to sketch I've got some paper there where I can just where I can just sketch and then I've got these post-it notes stuck in here in case I need to make an immediate note to give away to somebody else uh, and places in the back to write notes and stuff so this combines a sketchbook and a note a sketchbook and a bullet journal so this is what is in my pockets and then I decided this green bag turns out is an awesome bag for what I want to do for, for carrying the rest of my stuff and the reason it is such a good bag is because of how comfortable it is to carry now I can't uh, it, it says military products volunteer it's just a it's just a regular sling bag there's nothing magical about it I bought it from American legend writers it's there's nothing magical about it but it's very comfortable to carry it's very lightweight it doesn't really allow me to overpack it so it's not like I can put my easel it's not like I can put all of my all of my video elements in that and and if I'm gonna do something where I need my easel on my video elements and I've got that backpack where everything's already packed up and I can just transfer the stuff out of this. Now let me show you what I did here and I've kind of done this before with my little leather bag. It worked out very well with my little leather bag but that was just too easy to, to overpack so I've got my pencil case with all my pens in it and with a water a little watercolor kit pencils, pens, uh, eraser, ink, so, uh, ink to refill my fountain pens with, a nylon eraser, a pencil sharpener, a water brush, and some watercolors. And that fits nicely into this. And then if I want to change to a different setup, I can just grab this and I don't have to duplicate it. I don't have to have a set of pens in this bag and a set of pens in this bag and a set of pens in this bag. I can just grab this and drop it into another bag. So that's very convenient. And then I have this watercolor sketchbook that I can keep in here for when I want to knock out uh, a couple of quick watercolors. So if I'm sitting at work and I've got some downtime and I don't have anything else to do, I can I can break this out and I can do a couple of watercolors. Uh, I have these little bags to carry stuff like uh, water mister and some uh, acrylic white paint so that I can do highlights and eyes and stuff like that. And I have another one here that I was using for medicinal purposes. I was carrying my tooth powder and stuff in it, but I'm not using that anymore. I need to get rid of that. And then I have, I do have a notepad for when I want to actually just make uh, lists or notes. Uh, and then I have, this actually holds a bigger sketchbook, so I'm allowed, so it makes it easier. And that way I can carry my hand sketchbook around with me and I can do hands whenever I want to. Or I can sketch, you know, obviously I can sketch whatever I want in it, you know, just because a notebook is sketched, just because a sketchbook is is dedicated to specific practice doesn't, you know, mean that you can't use it for anything else. And I, you know, I've done some other stuff in this sketchbook. So that makes that easy to carry because that all fits right inside here. And I actually think there's room for a laptop in here. Plus, there's a place to put a battery pack and a, and a way to charge a way to charge your phone through here. There's a, a holder here on the side for a water bottle. Goodness, I'm not holding it the way I would normally hold it when I'm trying to pack it. But there's a holder here for a water bottle on the side. So if I wanted to take it to the to the zoo, I could take it to the zoo and it would fit comfortably uh, around what I'm around what I'm want to doing. And then there is. Of course it's going to be contrary because I'm, I'm on camera and then I have this pocket here where I also have my uh, video planner and I have my keyboard for my phone so if I decide that I want to sit down and, and, and document stuff and work on my videos and stuff I can do that and then of course I have a little pouch here where I keep medications where I've got uh, aspirin and I've got Claritin and I've got my inhaler and, and this is where I keep my tooth powder stuff like that, uh, band-aids, little, little stuff like that in there. And so that makes this really convenient because this just, you know, everything just zips right up here. 
course I said that here we are not here it is not fitting okay so everything just zips right up here and then I can just take it and grab it and go and then when I'm going to go on the motorcycle I just throw it over my shoulder and it, and it rides perfectly on my back so that it's not it, it's not in the way it's not doing anything I can throw it in the trunk of the car I can take it with me to the zoo this bag actually works out. It eliminated a whole lot of my other bags. Now, I'm not suggesting that you run out and buy this bag, but I am saying that figure out what you want to carry and what your actual practice is going to be. Are you going to be doing plein air painting? Are you going to be doing uh, at your desk sketching? Because here's what I was doing. I needed a way to practice do my daily practice of, of hands I needed a way to knock out a couple of watercolors a week I needed a way to have a, a way to sketch while I was on a, on a location if I was on site somewhere and, and this I think satisfies that need and it should allow me to produce a little bit more work throughout my day instead of uh, instead of just waiting and then trying at the end of the day to get stuff done.